Today's motion capture technology is limited to specialized environments, motions, and types of performances. With the system that we propose, the world of motion capture will expand to reach previously off-limit scenarios. Now, we can capture complex motions, including position, orientation, and incident illumination, recorded all right on location with the original actors in their actual wardrobes. And we can do all of this at high capture rates. A motor can rotate this arm so quickly that our camera cannot see it. We are able to accurately track the arm using passive optical tags mounted at each end. Here, the tags capture their location 500 times a second. In this scene, a video projector is illuminating a moving cloth. Twelve passive tags mounted on the cloth detect position and orientation. This allows us to render a virtual label over the cloth. The tags also detect the color of incident illumination, allowing our label to match the color wash. Here, a prop recovers its own position in a scene for later computer graphic compositing. Notice that the scene lighting also impacts how our synthetic sword is being lit. While the high-speed nature of this performance produces motion blur, we still maintain 125 Hz. We use the tag position to blur the synthetic element with correct motion and color smear. We can even capture the subtle rotation of the sword twisting. Traditional motion capture would require multiple position tags to recover orientation. Rather than depending on high-speed cameras, our system is based on inexpensive, solid-state infrared light projectors. A structured series of binary-coded gray code are projected into an area at 10,000 times a second to divide and label the space. Optical tags then receive this pattern and determine their own location in this labeled space. Each is equipped with a location sensor, orientation sensor, and an incident illumination sensor. Orientation data can be determined by using the received intensity from the alternating flashes of eight orientation beacons at 31 Hz. The accuracy of the optical tags can be seen here to be 6 mm at a tracking distance of 3 meters from the infrared projector. Also, we have performed verification tests for X and Y resolution, Z precision, and orientation precision. Since each tag comes equipped with an incident illumination sensor, we can record lighting conditions from the actual environment. Here, we use this information to automatically alter the albedo of this actor's shirt from red to blue while preserving the scene lighting conditions. These tags are small enough to embed directly into theatrical wardrobe so that motion and lighting can be captured directly at the time of filming. Tracking motion on location has been a highly sought after yet technically elusive proposition. With our system it is now possible since it is much more portable than a traditional multi-camera setup. Here an actor is wearing several tags embedded directly in his clothing while being recorded by a moving vehicle beside him. Also scalability with our system is not a problem. The number of tags being tracked is limited only by the physical constraints of the capture volume. No matter how many tags are in operation, the system maintains the same tracking speed. Since each tag is self-identified, there are no issues of reacquisition in the case of occlusion. And finally, our system operates independently of controlled environmental lighting. Since the system does not use a camera to locate markers in the image, the optical tags can be in visually complex environments like this highly specular aluminum foil or behind liquids that are transparent in infrared but opaque under visible light. Let us briefly look at some of our current prototypes for improving the performance of our system. Using a high-speed IRDA photo transmitter and receiver, we can now operate at 20,000 Hz for sampling speeds of 6,000 Hz for three-dimensional data. In this demo, an IRDA tag has been attached to a fan blade. It illuminates only in eight predetermined locations. These eight dots are clearly visible, indicating that the tag is aware of its own location, even at incredible speeds. Our first generation gray code projectors utilized 8-bit masks to label space. Our next generation system, seen here, uses analog masks with a 12-bit angular resolution to increase the accuracy to 100 microns, the width of just two human hairs, at one meter. Finally, instead of time division, we can use amplitude division multiplexing so that all transmitters can be on simultaneously without the need for synchronization and such that each tag can receive and decode all at the same time. This allows each tag to track location at the full rate, 500 Hz for the first generation, and a possible 20,000 Hz if combined with IRDA. When a tag scene is imaged with an external camera, we can factor in the radiance measured at the corresponding camera pixels and the incident illumination detected by the tag to determine the intrinsic reflection of the scene and correct for colored ambient illumination. With the scheme we've presented here comes a great amount of new flexibility and capability to motion and scene capturing. 
We hope that promising technologies such as light sensing fabrics for dense sampling, radio frequency identification transceivers for batteryless tags, and optical CDMA for uninterrupted space labeling will further stimulate the evolution of techniques in high-speed scene point capture.